Hello again from the beautiful sunny Philippines. It's Tuesday, January 11, and I'm still uh, calculating about how I get my yeah, power back, but not by waiting for the Veco, even those linemen are really doing a heroic job here. But I think about going solar, and as you can see, my house is behind this one. Yeah? So in the back of this big house in the foreground, there is my house. And as you can see, the sun is already there, where you maybe also can see the small kites flying. But the sun is now behind this big cloud there. And unfortunately, in the morning, my roof don't really get any sun. The next thing is if I would install something on the roof, it is very, very difficult because um, I cannot really remove it before a typhoon. Yeah? Someone has to climb up, uninstall everything, bring it down and that's way too much work to have this easily done. And if I install it fixed, I think this roof will not hold any inst installation there, will not hold a tropical storm. Uh, to, uh, to, to not to fly away. So if I install this on the roof there, um, after the next tropical storm, it's in Bohol, but not with me. So this roof in the back for my house is no option. Um, then I think one very easy option is the house here in the foreground, the small one, this, because there Dennis and Lucy are living and the roof is easily accessible. And the roof that you see here, this small roof, this has really sunlight from the sunrise until maybe 1 or 2 p.m. Even now it gets a little sun, only the sun is blocked by the clouds. And if I put panels on this, I really get maximum sunlight in the morning until 12 and 1 p.m. And after this, the sun sinks down, but I just install a mirror-like aluminium profile that uh, will be like this so the sun gets reflected to the panels again this is one solution and this would be easy to do because if we just put the panels there then you just climb on the ladder get them down before a storm fixed the next thing I think about is be directly behind me because our entrance gate has this nice roofing yeah, and as you can see these roofs still get the sun from up there so this roof always gets sun yeah? maybe the sun rises there it's not so much but if the sun is in nine o'clock position this roof already gets a lot of sun until maybe seven uh, six uh, nah, four to five p.m so i need to ask the landlord here which is very well, they are really nice people and I guess if I tell them I want to install two meter, two meter, one meter, one meter, yeah, so two long panels there to get power, they will say it's okay as long you pay it, but that's what I will do. Because all batteries, they have the Echo Flow solar generators. Um, you can Google Echo Flow and then you Google for the Delta Max that units they get back in stock end of this month but that's the older model it's not bad but it can only uh, la it only has 2000 uh, watt hours capacity and you can only charge it with 800 watt solar input and this is a little uh, that's not enough to have uh, enough power even overnight that's why i try to get the ecoflow delta pro because the Delta Pro is the new model from last year and this one has 3600 watt hours capacity plus I can feed it with 1200 watt solar power and the good thing all batteries also sell solar panels that are capable of 450 watt each so if I install three or even four this would be enough to power my appliances. I need about uh, 500 watt every day for aircons, computer, refrigerator, lamps and everything. That's 500 watt a day. But if I install three 450 watt panels, this should power all my appliances over the day. Plus it is, it is enough 
power left to charge the batteries for the night. Um, this 450 watt panel is about 9500 peso each, so really cheap you can say. And then I say maybe with $6,000 um, it's done because the unit is $3,600 then you pay uh, import fees and uh, uh, additional taxes here in the Philippines. But then you have the complete unit and you just have to buy three or four panels and that's maybe 40,000 peso. Then you pay a little bit for installation and it's done. So I calculate maybe this cost me 300,000 peso. And my next calculation is every month I spend about 5,500 peso for power. Because unfortunately the back of the house is directly in the sunlight as you can see now. I show you yeah, and this, the cement, the concrete is really completely uh, yeah, uh, in the sun. Yeah, this is the back of the house as you can see the wall there. So this wall has direct sunlight and um, inside it is now 33 to 34 degrees. And that's I think why my uh, air cons are so yeah power hungry because they have to fight the heat in the walls that's the next thing I try to do I will put some styrofoam on the outside of the wall and hopefully uh, the wall will be one or two degrees cooler and that way I, the air cons don't need so much power so if I say 300,000 peso for all the system installation and everything then I calculate okay how long does it take since I have my money back and if you say it's 5,000 peso a month for power, then this is 60,000 a year. And in five years, this is 300,000 peso. So it takes five years for me to get the money back because we are talking of the new technology, the lithium uh, uh, FEPO, I don't know the English word. Uh, you know lithium ion echoes from your power bank. But these power banks, this lithium technology is capable of 500 charging cycles. So every, you charge it every day, this is one cycle, so after 500 days um, the capacity is half only. 500 days is about one year and a half, 18 months. And if you now see this new uh, lithium iron technology, this is capable of 2000 charging cycles. And this means these batteries lose their capacity after six years and then you can then you see five years before I have my money back the batteries last six years if they are brand good branded but this is so usually I have my money back before I notice the capacity is down and I need to maybe buy new batteries but in six years the technology also is much better so yeah, I now wait for answer from the all batteries people to tell me if they have this Delta Pro system available or if I have to pre-order this how long it will take to get shipped from <coughs> America or China to here. So maybe I have to wait for three months or six months because you can only pre-order at the moment. Um, but if they are able to get this then it's also good because the other system, the Blue Eti, they are not sold here in the Philippines. I can order them from mainland China via Lazada, but then I have no warranty and no dealer to go to when I have a problem. So the all batteries here in Cebu City, they have a main branch in Mandawe, they sell those things and if I, in case I have a problem, I can bring the unit to them. And uh, I also have the warranty two years with them because uh, it's two years warranty by the manufacturer so the Delta Pro the EcoFlow Delta Pro is the best unit you can get here in the Philippines to do this if you don't need that much power you can still go with the Delta Pro Max because uh, not nah, it's the EcoFlow Delta Max which they sell that's only around 100 120,000 peso and this one has 2000 watt hours and you can charge it with 800 watt uh, solar power so 
In that case, you pay maybe uh, 120,000 for the unit and 20,000 for two 450 watt. And then you are 140,000, then you get 10,000 peso for installation. And with 150,000 peso, you have a system that can power your refrigerator, your lights, your fans for at least five to six hours every night. And that's not bad. So going solar is now easy and not really expensive because the ready-made systems are in the market and I can just say best in the Philippines would be the uh, EcoFlow systems because they are sold here lo uh, locally so you get the full warranty and in case you have a problem they get replaced through the dealers here. I hope it was again informative for you. See you in the next videos.